This video is not intended for people who have never done a static line jump. If you are new, please have someone more experienced with you so they can supervise your ignorance. I am a high level amateur and all the information contained within this video is purely my own opinion. If you chose to use this system, you do so at your own risk and you could possibly die. I did not invent this system. Welcome back, I am Giovanni, best teacher number one. Today we talk about the most efficient, most simple and most easy static line takeaway system in existence. Efficient plus simple plus easy equals better. There are lots of fancy systems out there, but in the wise words of Leonardo da Vinci. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. For this system, you don't need much equipment, just some brake cord and a small hard link. You can purchase these links from most hardware stores for around $5. Don't be fooled by buying the cheap ones from Amazon, they are AE, not so good. First, we talk about building the system. Step 1. Tie a loop halfway down your bridle. Easiest way to do this is place your pilot chute attachment point on the bottom pin of your container, then slide your thumb down to locate the middle. If you use smelly finger, malfunction is guaranteed. Guess what I did last night? Dude. Take the loop and pass it around one and a half times. Then tie off. Step 2. Take two pieces of 80-pound brake cord, one short, one long, and tie the same loop you did on the bridle at each end of the two pieces, leaving a little bit of tail coming out of the knot. And cinch it down tight. Some of you silly persons will need to watch that part multiple times, so make sure you watch on YouTube and subscribe me. The type of knot you tie doesn't really matter, as long as it won't slip. If at this point you find yourself asking questions like Why are the two pieces of brake cord different lengths? How big should the loops be? And how long should the pieces of brake cord be? That is a sign that you should not be using this system. Step 3. Place both pieces on the link, long one first followed by the short one. Put the link onto the loop in your bridle and close the link. Now you simply pack your pilot chute as normal and you're ready to go. It's good idea to use big pilot chute for static line in case things go wrong and you need your canopy to come out fast. It's also good habit to never gear up with your pilot chute out of your container seriously. Several people have died from issue relating to this. Please don't be silly person. When you arrive at object, perform a gear check before you put rig on and I recommend you get another one from someone you trust uh, right before you jump. After you gear up, take your pilot chute out of the BOC and inspect your system. It's okay to leave some bridle in the channel for some slack to avoid popping your bottom pin as you are moving around the exit. Personally, I like to clear the channel so I can physically feel that everything is clear from my bottom pin to the pilot chute. Either way is fine. Open the link, pass both pieces of brake cord around your anchor point, short one first, then the long one, and place them inside. Close it up and if you have done everything correctly, you are ready to go. Out in the wild, you will see many types of anchors begging to be tied off to. Handrails, ropes, straps, slings, pipes, you name it. Main thing to ensure is that your anchor point is smooth and is stronger than your system. As you move towards the edge, be careful not to step on your bridle making canopy fall out. And ensure that everything is clear one last time. As you arrive to edge, hold your pilot chute delicately with your fingers away from your body and stand with the anchor point directly behind you. As you exit, let go of the pilot chute before you feel any tension. If you hold too long, it might pull you off axis. Oof, not so good. If everything works correctly, your pins will pop, container will open and canopy will get pulled out. Once you hit line stretch, brake cord will break, canopy will inflate and you will have nice jump. 
After you land, inspect your static line. Link should be closed with no damage, brake cord should be broken, no evidence left on the exit and no trash left in nature. Throw away the brake cord and keep the link for next time. This is best system, no more fumbling around tying knots at exit and waiting long time for everyone to set up as you shit your pants in dangerous places. I know you have enjoyed this video, see you next time!